All right, guys, so I'm gonna teach you how to play Fernando at an upper level. And how I'm gonna teach you is how to move. And this video is pretty good on how to move, what not to do. I make quite a few mistakes in this video, so there's lots of what not to do, and then what to do. And you'll see a drastic difference in the success and failures of what to do and what not to do. When I do it wrong, I have very short lives and I die quickly. This is a warm up game, so I do that quite a bit. And uh, when I don't uh, screw up, I can live for a very long time and be very effective for my team, getting lots of point time, soaking up tons of damage. Fernando has the capabilities of being the best tank in the game. He can most definitely be a solo tank if you have a team that has a Bomb King or you know a Victor, something that can hold the point something that can hold them off the point. Uh, Bomb King's really good at that. I have a friend I play with who plays an amazing Bomb King, and that's what he specializes at, is off time, planting, and while I'm on the point, clearing and shield blasting opposite tanks. And as a support Bomb King, that, there's just nothing better than that. So let's get into the footage here and uh, take a better look. Okay, guys, so, okay, guys, so we are going to look at how to move with Fernando. Basically, you want to keep your shield up anytime you're close to your half-life. You don't want them to attack your shield as much. You want them to definitely be hitting your body so that you can heal that off. And you want to be charging almost anytime it's off cooldown. So here we go. I get my shield up. I put my back to the enemy to take a little bit of damage. Then I flip my shield back towards them so that they hit my shield. Then I turn my back to them so they pop my charge shield. Then I recharge to get another charge shield. And now I'm trying to avoid all damage possible until my big shield's back up. So I do a little bit of damage here. My team is obviously has the point control. I do another charge, get up my big shield. Here I'm actually using my shield. I've got a core of my team behind me. I'm trying to block, letting uh, the Ruckus do his DPS, letting the Bomb King do his rails. Uh, when my shield's down, I always fireball. I saw a Cassie over here, so I burned some DPS, but you don't want to chase a lot. As Fernando, you want to be on the point. Our particular team doesn't have a lot of damage since we have a Ruckus who can't chase, a Bomb King who can't really chase. So. We have a buck, but he was up in the front left, so you saw that wasn't going to work. So we do really well at this first push. We absolutely crush him. We take control. We burn him down. We, uh, we get closed up here, and we just can't finish, so I die. And then here comes the... Uh, we, we start to play a little bit better. We're going to pick up Life Rip. This is because the map is so stretched, I'm going to need extra healing. Uh, as I res here, I notice my whole team's dead. Since it's so far away, I'm not going to play Fernando like I like you would if it was closer. If it was closer and it was point, I'd be rushing point, trying to delay as long as possible. But since I have a minute and it's all the way down there, we're going to wait for our team. Uh, a good team here is going to have me and Bomb King go to the left and the DPS go to the right. That way the DPS is engaged their DPSs and we can kill their tank and score. And that's exactly what happens here. He poppy bombs over, lands there, hits an ult, nails him, and all I do is put up a wall of flame. I'm hoping that he distracts him long enough that I can ninja, but he runs back to point, but we take it in the end. So here, again, I'm at half-life, I pop my shield, I charge, I'm keeping my shield forward this time because I have a ruckus on sight with me. Uh, I almost die there, I don't know why it took my ult so long to go off, it's, a, it's, a, it's really hard to get a good ult off with Fernando, so I'm glad I got one in this video. Um, then you basically just want to hide till you can get your shield up, I have my shield up right here. So I'm going to try and avoid damage as much as possible to get um, veterans up, but I didn't. So I get my shield, charge, and I'm I'm soaking a lot of damage with my shield there because I want to get a charge because I was at such life, such low life, and we weren't able to actually hold the point this time. So what I'm going to do here is 1v5. I'm just trying to hold sight as long as humanly possible, keep charging as much as possible. I could have charged slightly sooner there. Um, I'm not showing my back to the enemy because there was all five there. I was really just trying to soak as much damage with my shield so I could get another charge so that I would have more life. And here I knew I was dead. Two seconds. I could have fell back. I should have fell back. Um, but then I re-engage. I go the long way, slightly longer way, so they don't knock me off my horse so I can get to point faster. And that's my goal as Fernando. I want to get the, to point and have the entire team focus me so that my team can kill them. So I'm jumping around. I'm showing my shield. I don't want to be in that bubble. That bubble is just a nightmare. You never want to be in that ulti bubble. And then I live as long as possible. Uh, I could have done a little bit better there. I could have had my shield back up and charged again, but I didn't. And here it's obvious we're going to crush him. 
I mean, I've got people all over the place. I think I'm really confident that we've got this with ease. I'm looking around. So I decide to be a little aggressive, take out a DPS here, drop into the tank there. I know they're coming off cooldown. I just saw two people pop. I saw the third person pop. I'm going to do some more damage. He drops shield. I want to get that little turret down, but I don't. So I charge out, get my shield up. They do a little bit of damage to my backside. I timed it pretty well, so they don't actually pop my shield. I get my main shield. Here I'm trying to take damage, as much damage as possible. So that's why I showed my back to them, because I want to heal. I constantly want to have my shield up and my body take the damage, because I have shield over my body because of charge shield, and then I have life recovery because I have my shield up. So turning around with your shields is actually a really good idea unless you're just getting bursted like crazy. This game is soft DPS. They're do they are killing me, but it's such soft DPS that I can turn around and just soak up tons of damage with my back through heals and charge shields. So my main shield is not taking as much damage as it could. I actually dropped my shield early there. And the point of that was to hit this ulti. Well, I didn't want to hit the ulti, but the point of it was I thought I could firebomb him off because he was last person. And we ended up actually succeeding. Here is an example of what not to do. I put my shield up way too early. I don't have my shield for when they actually put DPS on me. They drop some ults, push me off site. For some reason, they don't chase me. It's always good to chase a Fernando that popped his shield. Because when the shield is down is the only time you're really going to kill Fernando with low DPS like they have. So, again, I have shield up. I soak charge damage. I charge as soon as it's off cooldown. I'm healing up, showing them my back so that I take shield damage. Charge through them, start burning. Like I said, you just it's really simple to play them. You want to take damage while your shield is up to your body. You want to charge as much as possible to soak up as much damage as possible. And that's how you play Fernando. It's not that complicated. It's a really simple way to move and a way to play. And I see him played wrong too often. Because um, damage to your body is free heal damage as long as you don't die. So that's how you play Fernando. And that this is a pretty high level game. So you can see pretty hard opponents. And that's how you win.